guys, I'm back again for another lesson. So um, now that the weather is really nice and we can all be outside playing and um, riding our bikes and going to the playgrounds, I hope that you guys are really having a great time with your newfound freedom. I know I sure am. And I still can't wait to see you guys um, here back in Sunday school at VFC, hopefully soon, right? That's our prayer so that we can soon gather all together. Um, I just have a quick lesson today for you guys to uh, listen to and then I have a little demonstration um, with an egg um, to show exactly what I'm trying to teach today. So I'm just gonna say a quick prayer and then I'm gonna get on to this uh, lesson, okay? So thank you Father for today. Thank you for all of the kids and all of the people here at v in our VFC family. God, thank you for creating them each special um, uh, and in their own unique way. And I pray, God, that we can see them all again soon here in this building and um, to just be reunited as a church family. In Jesus' name, amen. So my story today, or my lesson today, is on the Holy Spirit. This is something that we haven't often talked about too, too much in Sunday school, but we found this great lesson online and I hope that you guys enjoy it and that you learn something new this, this week, okay? So how many of us have ever done something wrong? And after you did it, how many of us felt sorry about it? How many of us have been brave when we could, have, have ever been brave when we could have been afraid? That's tough, right? Because it's easier to be afraid than brave. I totally understand that. And how many of us need help making the right decisions? Me. I think we all do, right? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may have had a little bit of help from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, you say? Who is he anyway? What does he do? Is he an egg? Did he come from a chicken? Is he like water? Or is he like the wind? Maybe you have heard these comparisons before. So how do you get him? Will he give us superpowers? I've always wanted to fly. So, you know, maybe the superpower or maybe like turn my brother into a kitten, right? Like, what, what is this? Let's discover more about him today. So for today's example, I'm gonna show you the egg example, okay? So I have an egg and I have a bowl. And I'm just gonna show you how and the different parts of the egg and how um, it makes up one whole being, okay? So here's my egg and it has a shell, right? It's hard. I crack it open. There's the yolk and there's the white stuff, okay? It has three parts, but it's still one egg. See that? Three parts. Here's the shell. Here's the yolk. Here's the white stuff. Okay, or so we can say, we could use the water analogy. There is water that is like liquid form. So that's something that we would pour or we would drink. And then there's wallet, water in a solid form in which we call ice. And there is water as gas, which we would call water vapor. So that's like fog in the bathroom after you have a hot shower and your mirror is all foggy, that's called water vapor when it's like when it's hot, right? We've also heard that the Holy Spirit is like wind. The wind comes and goes as it pleases, but we can never actually see the wind itself, right? We can just see its effects on the branches and the leaves blow away. And when your cat gets launched across the yard in a really bad storm, <laughs> that would be really windy, right? If my cat blew away. The Holy Spirit is kind of like the wind. You can't see him, but you do see his effects in people's lives. God is three persons in one. 
We explain that by using the three parts of the egg and the three parts of or forms of water, and we explain the Holy Spirit as one of these parts and also like the wind. But he is not like an egg or water or the wind in any other way. He is a mystery. He is not like anything we know. We can't draw him, can't explain him or compare him, but we can trust him and know that he is good. For another activity, you guys can go on to the Victory Family Church Facebook page and we'll have some more activities posted on there for you guys to enjoy, okay? So I hope you guys have a great week. I know this lesson is super short today, um, but hopefully um, the weather is really nice outside and you guys can go for a bike ride or you can play outside, hang out with your family. And um, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you guys all next Sunday, okay? Take care, guys. Bye.